name on your paper. First thing. Okay, here's what we're going to do for this one. We're going to do the back first, then we'll use the back to help us find the expressions on this side that match. Okay, let's go to the back first. Here is our first expression. It is subtraction. So we need to make sure that we're matching it up with a subtraction. And it wants us to create all four or number sentences that match the expression. Let's do this together. So we have 9 minus 2. 9 minus 2. We have to figure out what that equals. So if we have 9, then we take away 2. Oh, let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. Got to get my fingers going the math way, don't I? All right, we're taking 2. 1, 2. How many are left? Five, six, seven. Okay. Now, this is an addition number sentence. So, what two numbers up here could we add together to equal the third number? Well, I don't want to add anything with nine because. 9 is the biggest number. So 9 and another number will never equal a smaller number. So let's take the two smaller numbers, 2 plus 7, and does that equal 9? Here's 7, 8, 9. Yep. So do you see how we're using the same three numbers? What's another way we could add? We could add the 7 and the 2. Let's do 7 plus 2, and that still equals 9. Now, each fact family has two addition number sentences and two subtraction number sentences. So we know that this one's going to have to be subtraction because we already have two addition ones. We also know in subtraction that we start with the biggest number first. So up here we had 9 minus 2. Now what could we do? 9 minus, well, let's do the 7 because we haven't done it that way yet. So 9 minus 7 equals, and then that's going to equal the last number that we haven't used yet, and that's 2. That makes sense. Now, on the back, we have that addition chart. So let's look to see if we can find, we have to use our addition ones. Let's see if we can find 2 plus 7 and 7 plus 2. 2 plus 7. Seven plus two. We can even write what they equal. Nine and nine. Okay. Let's do one more fact family together, and then I'll get you started on three and four, and you'll have to finish it up. Okay. So let's do let's do this one. 
10 minus 4. Okay, this is minus, so that's good. We have 10 minus 4. Here's my 10. We're going to take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many are left? 5, 6. And now we need to finish the rest. So this is an addition. What two numbers could we add together? Well, the two smaller ones, right? So let's start with 4 plus 6. And that equals the number that's left over is 10. What other way could we have added those? Well, we could have started with 6, and we could have added 4, and that still equals 10. And now we've done the two addition number sentences, so we need a second subtraction sentence. We know that subtraction number sentences always start with the bigger number. So we already did 10 minus 4, so this time we're going to take away the other one that hasn't been used yet. So we're doing 10 minus 6, and that equals 4. Now we need to look at the two addition sentences and find them on the other side. We have 4 plus 6 and 6 plus 4. 4 plus 6, and 6 plus 4. That was 10. Okay. Now I'm going to give you the first equation for numbers 3 and 4, but then you'll have to finish the rest of it, and then you'll have to flip it over to the other side to color in the addition expressions that go with both of these. Okay? So for number 3, let's do this 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6. I am not going to give you the answer. I want you to figure it out. You can visualize the beads, or you can use your fingers, or another strategy that you like. Okay, and then for this one, we're going to do 9 minus 5. And again, I'm not going to give you the answer, I want you to figure it out first. And then you can go ahead and complete the rest of the number sentences. And then, like I said, don't forget to flip over to the back and color in the addition expressions that go with both of those. And making sure you write in the answers as well. When you're done, it goes in the done tub. If you run out of time, you'll have to put it in the to be finished tray.